for for the standing options here so what is standing here you see here guys standing in the same suppose for example uh i have a sheet here. okay i have a sheet now for example uh, this is the copy of the sheet and again i am taking one front view This is my front view of the sheet. Suppose, for example, stamping. What it will do? Suppose, for example, I want a feature, any feature like a rectangular feature or circular feature, so that how it will be. Suppose I am creating a rectangular feature here. What stamp will do? This rectangular feature will create on this face by expanding the material something like this. Okay, by expanding the material something like this means. either we can make holes also or we can able to make it what is the difference between uh, stamping or cut out cut out it will only make the holes there but in stamping what it will do it will add the extra material okay so when we check the commands in the tool then only we can able to understand what is stamping okay now see here the first stamp you can find here is surface stamp okay for example if i want to make a surface stamp here go for this option select this face but right now see here when i am trying to select here nothing is happening here why it is asking me to select the profile okay it is asking okay. here it is showing the preview of the stamp also so but right now it's asking me to select the profile of your stamp in what kind of stamp you require here either it may be rectangular circular any other kind of shape you want you can able to specify But remember one thing: whenever you are creating the surface stamp, it should be a closed profile. Okay? It should be a closed profile. So in that case, right now I am trying to select anything. It's not letting me because I don't have any profile here. So in that case, what we have to do? We have to select the profile. So how to do? Initially, I didn't get any profile here. So nothing to worry here. From here also, we can able to enter into the sketcher workbench, and we can able to create the profile. So in that case, what I am doing, I am taking the sketch option from this here only. Click on this option and select this face on which face you require the sketch. I want on this sketch, on this face I require this sketch. Okay. Now what I will do, I will create one rectangular profile. Okay. I create a rectangular profile. Now what happened? It is showing some things there, like some parameters. It is showing some arrow symbol. It is showing arrow symbol, nothing but the direction of this stamp. Means it will create this stamp at the bottom side. Now we have to specify the parameter. Okay. The first thing is angle. How much angle of stamp is required? See here. Here it will mention you what are the parameters are there. Angle it is mentioned as a angle is showing between the vertical to horizontal. Okay, this horizontal, this horizontal face to the vertical stamp. How much angle you require? You can able to specify the angles also. Right now I am giving 90 degrees only. Later we will check how much different angles you require. Okay. Now what I am doing is here I am 90. I am giving the angle at 90 degrees only height. How much height you require for that stamp? I want 4 mm. If you have any reference plane parallel to that face, we can select the limit also by selecting that face. But right now I don't have anything. That's the reason I am giving the height of this stamp as 4 mm. Then we have two radiuses. Radius one, radius two. See here, radius one is the bend at this location and radius 2 is this one inside of this stamp so these two values also we have to specify currently i am giving why because the length is very small that's the reason i am giving the stamp radius as 1.5 okay just click on preview now see that your stamp has been created okay your stamp has been created i am decreasing this value to 
Still it's not taking, I will remove the previous one. Four. <coughs> like due to this parameter, it is not trading here. Nothing is there. If you go for angle, you have to specify the angle for that stamp. If you go for punch and die here, what happens means here there is no option for specifying the angle. We have to create two profiles by taking those two profiles as a reference automatically calculate your angle and it will create the punch. Uh, first profile. Uh, I'll save your French. You have first profile, second profile again I am creating your So like that we have to create the surface stamp with a different profile. To go for cut long also, the power of the actual is. We will check whether any stamp is going out. Here guys, here we have some standard flaw, like standard punches also there. So those things we can find under catalog. This one again there is a catalog. Go for here. Uh, go for power copy. We want rectangular slot or we want centered slot or we want slot counter. So whatever you want, you can take here. I am taking center slot. Okay. Uh, this point we have to specify. This plane we have to specify. Point I don't have point right now. Uh, I don't have any point. We have to create one point here before that one. Then only we can take. Okay. 
this one point or this one has this has So after selecting a particular point, first you have to give three parameters like uh, center point of that object, <coughs> center point of your profile, the next thing is axis and on this plane you want to create the file, the three things you have to specify for automatically to generate the function. Okay, that is my surface scan. The next option you can find here is V. V is also same other way. But here, what we have to do, we have to specify the open profile. For example, I am giving here some lines. Exit work there. So, it will create lines. So, we can say as a bird beats or bird beats, we can say. Click preview. And here, we have to specify the parameters like section radius, end radius, height and radius. These three things you have to specify, so based on those three things, you can create your stamp. Okay, the next thing is curve stamp. This is also like, oh, but this one also we require the open profile only. And I am giving the same spline only, then I will show the difference between these two things. Exit. I am giving like 5, angle I am giving like 90 degrees. Now see here guys, the difference between bead and curve stamp is in curve stamp you can able to specify the height also. Okay? In bead, we can able to specify height, end radius, starting radius and radius. Three things we can four things are able to specify, but whereas when you come to curve stamp, here you can able to specify extra thing is angle. And height we can able to increase here. For example, I am giving the height like 10 centimeters. Like that. Okay. Here we can able to specify this height here, but here we cannot able to specify the height. For example, it's the same height if I specify in the bead, what happens? Let's see. We'll show you that error that the height has to be smaller than the end radius. The end radius which you are seeing here now, it should be smaller than that. Like. Okay, that is my beat and curve stamp. The next one is flange the cutout. See here flange cutout and surface stamp, both are similar only. The only difference you can find here is in surface stamp, 
the object base, the stamp base is closed here. For example, I will create one, that one also. Exit, okay. So I have this stamp with my perfect stamp. When I am going for the flag cutout, here also we require the source profile only. Here the bottom is open here. Here the bottom is closed, here the bottom is open. The remaining things are same only, like height is 4, angle we can able to specify, height we can able to specify and radius we can able to specify. Okay, that is my flag cutout. The next option we can find here is lower. Lowers are very important here. Lowers we are creating like uh, when you go for the locomotive and the locomotives. Uh, have you seen the windows of the train? You can find the lower shape. That is your lower section. Yeah? So you can you see this uh, part feature here? You can understand it. Right? I am creating one lower. For that one also I require the profile and this profile also like open only. And here you have to create only a line. Normal line length. Okay, okay, okay. It is like a close profile you require. Open line as this. Here, in surface stamp also this kind of things we can able to create. But in surface stamp there is an optional thing like this line, opening line we can able to select or we don't want to it. Specify also it will create your surface stamp. But whereas when you come to the lower option compulsory you have to specify the opening line. Like close profile we have to create and then we have to select the line which side you want to make open. So I want this side to be open that's the reason I said it's a line of the year it has been Now we have to specify the parameters like height, angle, angle 1, angle 2. See here, this is my angle 1. Sorry, this is my angle 1 and this is my angle 2. These two angles we can able right now. Both the angles like vertical only. I am changing those angles right now. Uh, angle 2 I am giving like, for example, 90 degrees there now. I will give this one like. not taking why because it is damaging the radius I will change the radius to 1 1 okay uh, the fillet corresponding to radius R2 cannot be computed to check the radius value or deactivate okay I will deactivate the radius it is showing that one the fillet between the stamp and its support cannot be computed or the point does not detect the support Take the radius value and punch position. Now see here it has been deleted. With the radius it is not creating here, that's the reason I made this one visible. Now without radius it is created. That is my lower On train windows you can find that uh, what we can say. Some different kind of shapes are there. First thing only we can say lowers. Uh, usually where we are using it, I will show the image of lowers. Yeah, these things you can say are the lowers. Especially when you come to locomotive Locomotive window, if you check 
here you can find the lower Yeah, this one only. The thing which you are seeing here, this one only the shape you can say as in lower. Okay? So those lowers we can able to create here with the help of lower. Here in proper also we can say this one as a lower one. Okay? So this kind of shape we can able to create here by using this. The next option we can find here is bridge. Now see here guys, till now whatever commands we have taken, but that one we required profile, like this we require. From here onwards we don't require any profile here. First of all I am going for bridge option, just select this space, automatically it will create the bridge type. What are the parameters you want, just to specify the parameters, it will automatically create the bridge here. Still I can able to increase here to 20 for example 
angle how much you want i want for example 45 degrees radius as you can able to specify like that okay so like these side kind of stamps we can create with the help of like that kind of stamps we can able to create with the stippling rip option understand this is my stippling rip and the next one is dowel here guys i am going for the option here user stamp for user stamp what we have to do means we required a die but right now i don't have any die you have to create that so in that case what you have to do means go for insert body first you have to insert one body double click on that body then what you have to do you have to go to part design Okay. 
I am creating one profile here. Wait a second, guys. 